What's up world? So for a while now, I've been using the Zion Smooth Q for a lot of my stabilized shots with my phone and all that. But the problem I kept running into was that the stabilization on the iPhone, as well as the stabilization on the stabilizer, they started combating with each other. And I know some other reviewers have said that, you know, to watch out for it and it's not good for iPhones, etc. But it was all I could do at the time. It's all I could get. But now, I decided to upgrade a little bit. So, a few months ago, I got the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and I decided to use that on my Zion Smooth Q with a little bottle cap trick. You know, put a little bottle cap in there so the GoPro would stay. But the only problem was, is that you couldn't see the screen unless you turned it in selfie mode and reversed it, and it was just a pain in the neck. So I decided last week that I was gonna upgrade to the Hero 6 for that 4K 60, and stabilized GoPro, which would help me for a lot of my gym videos in that slow motion using optical flow and bringing it down by like 30%. So what I decided to do was just buckle down and get the Karma Grip for the GoPro. So now the Hero 6 with the Karma Grip has been a game changer. You know, I tried to do some B-roll with it and some slow motion. So this is the GoPro Hero 6 with the stabilizer. As you can see, it actually moves really smoothly. You know, so it helps with getting stable footage, really stable. So my friend is in town right now and we're gonna test this bad boy out, see what we can come up with, and hopefully have some fun doing it. Let's go down to the beach. So I hope you liked that little clip that we shot. It was actually kind of fun in doing some different little techniques and shooting styles and all that. I found it to be quite convenient. The stabilizer with the GoPro and the stabilizer on the stabilizer, they work really well. And I decided not to do 4K, I decided to do, you know, 2.7K at, um, what did I do it at? I think it was still 60 frames a second, but the reason why I chose not to do 4K is because 4K, you can't do linear, and you're stuck with that weird fisheye GoPro look, which works really well for photos, I think, but I don't know, it just, it didn't seem cinematic to me, so I stayed with the 2.7K at 60 frames on linear. So I hope you enjoyed it. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends if you'd like to do that. You know, give it a thumbs up. It really matters, guys. Thumbs up really matters. So until next time, hope you enjoy. Peace out world.